Okay, well, thanks very much, um, Michal. And as Michal has said, uh, we're making this submission to Dublin City Council, really urge, to urge them to do the right thing as regards the National Monument. Um, we want the council to um, convince uh, Minister Deanahan not to allow the construction of a shopping mall on what ought to be developed in a sensitive way to give full recognition to the political history of our city and also to create something that will have real educational and social value and something that could prove to be a real magnet uh, for tourism uh, here in the heart uh, of Dublin. These are very historic streets and, and lanes uh, in this part of Dublin and I can't imagine that in any other country uh, the likes of this national monument and the lanes and streetscape all around here which were uh, a battlefield back uh, in Easter week 1916. I can't imagine that any other country would allow the destruction of something that is so immensely valuable and significant. So we're making our we're making our uh, submission today. We're urging those within Dublin City Council to read it carefully and to take note of it. We're asking them to use their influence to persuade Minister Deanahan to do the right thing, to prevent the development by chartered lands. That is in his hands. But also we want uh, City Council, the Minister and all stakeholders to enter into a dialogue and to plan properly for this part of the city. We of course would like to see the monument uh, restored and the battlefield and all of this site developed appropriately in time for the commemoration of uh, 1916 uh, of the rising and we would hope that that could be achieved but we're also convinced and we say in our submission that it's more important to get the plan right. We have to get this right and if Minister Deanahan does the wrong thing, if he allows the destruction uh, essentially of this part of the city we believe that we will uh, live to regret it and we believe that he and the government and the civic authorities will have really shortchanged the people uh, of Dublin and beyond and will have done a dishonour and a disservice to the memory of the women and men of Easter 1916. Thanks, Mary Lou.